Hello, it's Thursday the 31st. I'm FX Blue and this is CurrencyTransfer.com's market update. The headlines today are that the Fed drives the dollar down, sterling rallies despite the EU position, and Eurozone data disappoints. So as expected, the Fed kept rates on hold yesterday, but Powell was more cautious than expected and the dollar sold off as the market repriced interest rate futures to only a 25% chance of a hike in 2019. The dollar index dropped to 95.20 and the Fed said they're prepared to adjust the balance sheet if the economy needed more accommodation. The ADP jobs report was stronger than expected, but lower than the December number ahead of non-farm payrolls tomorrow. Cable rallied into a weakening dollar, touching 131.45, despite the continued concerns over a no-deal Brexit. Theresa May believes she can still get Brussels to reopen discussions, but as expected, the uh, Junker said the EU had refused to reopen negotiations in November and again in December, so there's no reason to change their mind now. Cable rallied on dollar weakness, but sterling euro fell to 114.10, giving a more genuine guise to the concern of the market. Eurozone and business and industry confidence fell yesterday. Consumer confidence was a little higher, but that tends to lag behind business confidence a little as they react to different drivers. Since the ETB confirmed that there's very little they can do aside riding out the economic slowdown, Eurozone data has been uniformly weak. Far from ideal with the EU election campaigns beginning across the region and concerns are growing that we may see political backlash manifesting itself um, with the stronger support in nationalist candidates. There may be trouble ahead. Euro dollar rallied to 115 as the dollar sold off though and today we've got Eurozone Q4 GDP data. That's the focus this morning and then after that focus will shift to towards non-farm payrolls tomorrow and the Euro will uh, move to a much more reactive stance for the rest of the week. We'll keep you posted. If you've got any questions please pop them in the comments below.